since flying became popular, there have always been a brutal rivalry between American and European airplanes, with the two titans in the ring being Boeing and Airbus. These companies both make very different choices when it comes to their planes, but is one better than the other? And who is this mysterious third company that has recently come into the ring? Starting with the world of aircraft appearances, it's actually quite easy to tell the difference between a Boeing aircraft and an Airbus plane just by giving them a quick glance. But there's more to it than just looks. These aviation giants have unique styles that reflect their distinct engineering philosophies. Boeing has this characteristic nose shape that really stands out, often more pronounced compared to Airbus. This isn't just for show, it serves several practical purposes, like accommodating different cockpit arrangements. You can spot a Boeing by those trademark eyebrow windows above the cockpit, a pretty unique feature. And don't forget their landing gear. It's got that robust six-wheel truck setup that's a dead giveaway. Now, Airbus takes a different approach. They go for a more streamlined nose profile, which is all about maximizing aerodynamic efficiency. Take the Airbus A320 series, for example. It's got a less pronounced nose compared to its Boeing buddies. Airbus also keeps things uniform in the cockpit, making life easier for pilots switching between different models. Oh, and when you see that four-wheel bogey landing gear, you're looking at an Airbus. One more thing to notice is the height of the tail sections. Boeing planes tend to have taller tails, which helps with stability during takeoffs and landings, especially when things get a bit bumpy. Airbus goes for a slightly lower tail, all in the name of aerodynamic efficiency, which means less drag and better fuel economy. And don't forget the wingtips. Boeing likes to add winglets to many of their models. These fancy upward angled wing extensions are all about reducing drag, improving fuel efficiency, and just overall boosting performance. Airbus, on the other hand, prefers a more curved wingtip design, which also adds to their efficiency, but gives their planes a different look. Now, those differences aren't just for show. They tell a story about how these manufacturers approach their aircraft. Boeing is all about flexibility and adaptability, which is why they take a more modular approach to cockpit design and other aspects of their planes. Airbus, on the flip side, really prioritizes aerodynamic efficiency and keeping cockpit layout standardized. And hey, we'll spill the beans about that mysterious third player who aims to destroy the other two in a bit. But for now, let's shift our focus inside these planes because the differences there can be just as intriguing, if not more so. Now, let's dive beneath the surface of these magnificent flying machines and explore what sets Boeing and Airbus apart on the inside. One of the key distinctions lies in the engines that power these giants of the sky. Boeing and Airbus often go for engines from different makers, and these choices can have a big impact on how these planes perform and sip on fuel. For Boeing, it's usually engines from General Electric, GE, or Rolls-Royce. You've got GE engines like the CF6 series and the newer GENX powering some Boeing models, while others strut their stuff with Rolls-Royce Trent engines. On the Airbus side of things, you might come across Pratt & Whitney engines, known for their PW4000 series, or engines from International Aero Engines IAE, like the V2500. Each of these engine makers brings their own tech, thrust, and fuel efficiency magic to the table, which adds to the unique vibes of Boeing and Airbus planes. Now, when it comes to the brain of the plane, the flight control system, both Boeing and Airbus have fly-by-wire systems in play but the way they use them is where things get interesting. Boeing goes for a setup with multiple redundant systems, giving pilots the power to step in and take control in those super critical moments. Airbus, on the flip side, leans heavily on automation with its fly-by-wire system, featuring some fancy envelope protection logic that stops the plane from going too wild and crazy. These differences are all about their philosophies on pilot assist tech and control backup. Heading to the cockpit, you'll notice some differences there too. Boeing sticks with the classic yoke-style control column and a more hands-on feel for the controls. Airbus, on the other hand, rolls with a side-stick control and takes a simpler digital approach to the cockpit displays. These variations are all about optimizing how pilots interact with the aircraft and lining up with each of the manufacturer's design vibes. But wait, there's more! These are just a few sneak peeks into the inner workings of Boeing and Airbus aircraft. Things like wing design, weight distribution, cabin setup, and the materials they use all play a role in crafting the unique personality of each manufacturer's planes. 
And that, my friend, shapes the flying experience for both passengers and pilots. Now, speaking of passengers, let's shift our focus to what Boeing and Airbus do to make sure those folks up in the air are as comfy as can be. All right, let's talk about what passengers expect when they hop on a flight. When you're comparing American and European airlines, you'll find that the passenger experience can be quite different from the seats to the entertainment and even the cockpit design. Now, when it comes to seating, European airlines like Lufthansa, British Airways, and Air France tend to go all out on making their long-haul flights comfy. They're all about spaciousness, so you'll get extra legroom, wider seats, and some pretty nifty seat setups designed for comfort during those marathon flights. And they're not stopping there. European carriers throw in some sweet extras like bigger windows, quieter cabins, and ergonomic seat designs to up the comfort game. On the other side of the pond, American airlines like Delta, United, and American Airlines might take a different approach. They sometimes pack in more seats, which can mean tighter seating and less legroom. But hey, they're still looking out for your comfort. They often offer different seat classes, including premium economy and business class to cater to all kinds of travelers. Now, let's talk in-flight entertainment, or IFE. Both American and European airlines are keeping up with the digital age, but they do it in their own way. European airlines usually spoil you with a huge selection of on-demand entertainment. Think movies, TV shows, and music galore. Some even team up with big film festivals, so you might catch some award-winning cinema in the air. Meanwhile, American Airlines put the spotlight on personal electronic devices, PEDs, to enhance your in-flight experience. But guess what? There's a new player stepping onto the scene, and it looks like American and European Airlines might have some serious competition on their hands. Let's get ready to rumble! There's a new kid on the block, and they're ready to shake things up. Meet Comac, short for the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, a state-owned aerospace manufacturer with some big global ambitions. While Boeing and Airbus have been calling the shots for ages, Comac's entry into the scene is stirring up some serious competition. In terms of looks, Comac's planes seem to borrow a little something from both Boeing and Airbus. Take the Comac C919, for example. It rocks a blended wing body design that's suspiciously close to Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. This design is all about boosting fuel efficiency and giving passengers more room to stretch their legs. And if you look at the nose and cockpit layout, you might spot some similarities with the Airbus A320 series. It's like Comac's taken a bit too much inspiration from the industry giants. But Comac isn't just following the crowd they're putting their own spin on things. You can't miss the Chinese cultural symbols and colors splashed all over their planes, inside and out. The exterior often flaunts intricate artwork that celebrates Chinese heritage, setting it apart from the more conservative looks of Boeing and Airbus. And once you're inside, you're surrounded by Chinese motifs, giving you a strong sense of cultural identity and national pride. Now, one area where Comac is playing by the same rules as the big players is their choice of engines. The C919, for instance, goes with engines from CFM International, a joint venture between General Electric and Safran aircraft engines. That's the same engine deal that Boeing and Airbus have had going for ages. It shows that Comac is all about sticking to the international norms and tapping into established engine tech. But let's not kid ourselves. Comac's journey hasn't been all smooth sailing. They've had their fair share of challenges with things like manufacturing quality and certification processes. But hey, every obstacle they've faced has only pushed them to get better and more innovative within the Chinese aerospace industry. When it comes to the tech inside their planes, the C919 doesn't disappoint. It's loaded with the latest fly-by-wire technology, making those flight control systems super sophisticated and efficient. And Comac has gone all out with a bunch of high-tech avionics systems to boost situational awareness, navigation, and safety. Comac's move into the aviation game isn't just about them. It's a sign of China's dream to become a major player in the global aviation scene. But don't worry, Boeing and Airbus aren't giving up their thrones just yet. Still, Comac's entry reminds us that the aviation landscape is always changing. With its blend of design inspiration and cutting-edge tech, the C919 is a bold step towards shaping the future of flying. Thanks for tuning in, and catch you next time!